Welcome to another Hawkeye Electronics Tech Tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to set up the fish tracks 1C for ice fishing. The first step is to adjust the transducer float so that the transducer is below the ice. It's very important that it hangs below the ice and not in the hole. Now that the transducer is in the water, let's go into the fish tracks 1C menu and make some adjustments. The first setting that we want to adjust is the sensitivity. Increasing the sensitivity will show more echo returns and therefore more clutter. Lowering it will show less. We like to set the sensitivity so that it shows just enough echoes without producing too much clutter. We set the depth range manually so that we can maximize the screen for fish echoes as we are not all that concerned about bottom contour or composition once we are set up in the hole. Then we adjust the lower limits so that the lake bed is at the bottom of the screen. Another important setting to utilize while ice fishing is the backlight. If you're out on the ice in direct sunlight you'll need to set the backlight at its highest setting. If you're inside a tent like we are, you can reduce the backlight to preserve battery life. For maximum battery life, check out our battery recommendations in our support portal. Next, let's adjust the surface clarity to the high setting. This will eliminate the interference caused by the echoes bouncing off the ice. It's important to note that this setting will not show any echoes within 3 feet of the transducer, so you will not be able to see your jig or fish until they drop below this zone. The noise rejection setting is one of the most important settings to utilize during ice fishing. We generally start with the setting in the off position and adjust up or down as needed to eliminate clutter caused by debris in the water column. If you're trying to see your jig you'll want to use the lowest setting possible while keeping the screen clutter to a minimum. Now that we have our settings dialed in for ice fishing, we're going to sink a jig into the hole and watch it on the fish tracks 1C. Once it gets past the surface clutter zone you'll see it appear on the screen. To verify that it's your jig that you're seeing, jig it a couple of times and look for the arcs on the screen. This is what a fish looks like on the fish tracks 1C display. To catch it, we simply lower the jig down to the depth the fish are holding and wait for the bite. When the fish hits, you'll see the sonar echoes of the jig and the fish converge and typically the echoes will expand as the fish attacks the jig. We hooked the fish that we just saw on the fish tracks 1C and landed our first keeper of the day. If you're a seasoned ice fisherman and prefer to use a flasher, the fish tracks 1C has a built-in flasher mode. To access it, press the left arrow key and the flasher screen will appear. While using the flasher mode you'll need to decipher which echo return is your jig, which are debris, and which are fish. An easy way to find your jig is to raise and lower it in the water column and watch the flasher as the echo moves around the dial. You can also change to the fish finder mode and verify your jig location. Keep in mind that the flasher mode is ultra sensitive, so you will need to adjust the sensitivity and noise rejection settings to dial in the readings. Now, let's explore some of the advanced capabilities of the fish tracks 1C. Because of the wide cone angle of the 200 kHz setting, it's possible to detect two jigs in two different holes. However, this is going to require some fine-tuning of the settings. With the single jig we set the noise filter to medium. To detect two jigs we're going to have to turn this setting off. To verify which jig is which, simply jig each one independently and watch them on the screen. It's important to note that the settings described on this video will have to be fine-tuned from time to time as debris in the water column is always changing. Especially as you catch more fish and stir up the water. Settings adjustment are also required from hole to hole and from lake to lake. So get to know the setting adjustments of the fish tracks 1C and then you'll be amazed of how many more fish you'll see and catch. Thanks for watching this Hawkeye Tech tutorial on dialing in the fish tracks 1C for ice fishing. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to us on our support portal at support.norcrossmarine.com. We will be standing by to help in any way we can.